Welcome to this five-part mini-series about pharmacist medication assessment services. These videos are designed as an educational tool to help pharmacists and pharmacy students perform medication assessments within their community. These videos will follow two mock patient scenarios demonstrating how a community pharmacy team recognizes, initiates, and completes medication assessments and follow-up services with eligible patients. For the purposes of this video, the pharmacist will be providing the services under the Saskatchewan Medication Assessment Program. However, the information is designed to be adaptable and applicable to any medication assessment service in general. Part 1, Episode 1 will demonstrate specifically how a community pharmacy initiates a medication assessment service during regular business. The video will demonstrate how the pharmacists in the scenario incorporated these services into their workflow with minimal disturbance of pharmacy operations and efficiency. Hi. What can I do for you? Uh, I need to get my prescriptions refilled. Oh sure, what's your last name? Bronwyn. Okay, and first name? John. John. Let me just pull you up here. And address 818 Stanley Street? Yep. Perfect. Okay, so do you just need the three on file? Yes. The lisinopril, simvastatin, and hydrochlorothiazide? Yeah. Just those three? Okay. Yeah, we can get those ready for you. Just give us about 15-20 minutes. Okay, okay thank Thanks. you. Barry, could you take a look at this? Sure. So I'm just refilling um, some prescriptions for a patient that just came by, and I think he might be eligible for a medication assessment. Oh, okay. Thanks. Let's take a look. Okay. Hmm. Maybe. Um, just uh, let me know when he comes back. Just ask him to wait a second and call me over, and then I'll ask him just a few more questions, and we'll see. Okay? Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Excellent. Thanks for picking up on that a lot. Yeah, I appreciate it. no problem. It. Hi. Uh, came to pick up my uh, medicine. Sure, and uh, John Bronway, yes. that's you? Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah, we've got your three medications uh, ready here for you. Um, the pharmacist just wants to have a quick chat with you, if that's okay. Sure. Uh, Barry, would you mind coming over here? Yeah, sure. This is the patient we were looking at earlier. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Barry. Hi, one of the pharmacists here. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm thanks. good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So you're picking up your prescriptions here today. Yeah. So we've got them all for you. Any questions with how you're taking them? I think so. Been taking them all for a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just want to update your file here, John. And um, are you taking any other medications that aren't by prescription? Uh, yeah, a few. I'm taking uh, a multivitamin. Okay. Uh, uh, some um, calcium. Okay. Uh, those little baby aspirins, and uh, then okay. I sometimes take uh, Tylenol for my arthritis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you take Tylenol very often? Well, but I need to. So okay. Yeah. All right. So um, we were looking at your profile earlier, and I was just wondering about the, the number of other medications you were taking. And there's a new program that we have where we sit down and talk with patients over a period of time and just go more into depth about, about your pills that you're taking. Oh, okay. I've never heard about that. Yeah, it is pretty new, and it's, it's like a tune-up. And so if you're interested, we could uh, do that, help you get the most out of your medications, make sure they aren't causing any problems. Sure. Uh, how much does it cost? Well, um, there is a cost, not to the patient though. It's covered by the provincial drug plan, and oh. so it's just something we think is really going to help the health of people in the community. It takes about um, 40 minutes or so. Sure, yeah. Well, okay. can we just do it now? Um, well, we're booked up today. Um, we do have some appointment times later in the week, and uh, here's our schedule. Well, do you want the SMAT finders Yes, well? thanks, yeah. Amanda. So it looks like we have time available on Friday afternoon. That should be fine. Okay, that's great. So on the 22nd, 3 o'clock, okay? Sure. Okay. So we do have a bit of homework for you to do before you come in. <laughs> It'll help us uh, use our time better. So this, one, this form is called, Am I Getting the Most from My Medication? So it's pretty straightforward. There's some check boxes here and just other things to fill in. And then okay. a bit more on the next page. There we go. So if you just complete all that. Okay. okay. And we have a, a reminder form here as well. 
Um, I'll just jot down the time for you. There you go. Okay. Good. Good. Any other questions, John? I don't think so. Okay, so um, just to prepare you for this, um, it'd be nice if you brought all your medications in. So bring them in a in a bag so that we can see them all. I can look at your vitamins and all everything else. Just make sure that we've got it all accurate. If there's anything else you think of in between time, bring that as well, and not just things that you take every day. Things that you that you take just when you need them as also. Okay. Okay, and so I'll be asking quite a few questions about. Um, how you take your medications, how it fits into your routine. We'll ask some specific questions, make sure you're not having any side effects from your medication, and just make sure that you're taking them at the right times of day and everything's fitting into your schedule. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Great. Okay. okay. I'll get Alana to finish this off and we'll see you in a few days. Okay, okay. thanks. As you can see from this scenario, all members of the pharmacy team, including pharmacists and pharmacy technicians, play an important role in initiating a medication assessment service. In this scenario, the pharmacy technician played a crucial role in identifying this medication assessment opportunity by recognizing that the patient may be eligible for the service based on his specific characteristics. Actively screening regular patrons of the pharmacy for eligibility can help to increase the number of patients who benefit from medication assessment services such as the Saskatchewan Medication Assessment Program. Additionally, pharmacy team members can screen patient profiles in the pharmacy behind the scenes to identify potentially eligible patients who can be recruited later over the phone. In this example, the pharmacist confirmed the eligibility of the patient and then carefully explained the medication assessment program focusing particularly on the potential benefits for this patient. In some cases, the pharmacy team may be able to perform the medication assessment in the pharmacy immediately after identifying an eligible patient. However, in this case, due to the staffing and workload, the pharmacist chose to schedule an appointment later during a more appropriate time. Before the patient left the pharmacy, the pharmacist provided the patient with instructions to return at a later date with all of his medications and provided forms and documentation to facilitate the annual medication assessment process. <laughs>